talking, aren't we? Hey? Um, what you're hearing is an open A power chord or fifth chord. You'll see them just with a five after the, after the letter, and I can't stop doing that. It's a two note chord or a three note chord. Um, I'll explain that to you. Won't be using the bottom E. We'll be using the open A. And then we'll be fretting the D at the second fret with the first finger. And just using those two strings, we can play an open um, A power chord or, or A5. Now, the way this works, you can actually play this note underneath as well. So I would say practice both, the PDFs will have both on them for our rhythm practice. So you can either play the open A and the fretted D, um, or you can incorporate the fretted G as well. And obviously because it was a power chord and rocky, I had to put some distortion on it, didn't I? I didn't want to, but I had to. Uh, that's your open A5 power chord. Enjoy. This is an open D5 power chord. What we're doing here, we're not using the E or the A, we're using the D string open. And then we're fretting the G string, second fret, with our first finger, the A note and those two strings together cause a D5 power chord to be uh, sounded. So you're only hitting those two strings, only strumming those two strings. I'll go into this more depth in the rhythm um, section of the course. Now, as in the A power chord, I don't know if you've been there yet, but you can play uh, an extra string, but if you want to play it on the D power chord, you have to put in like the bottom end of your D major shape. Otherwise it won't sound right. Uh, I'm not even gonna play it for you because it sounds so horrible. So if you want to incorporate another string to get a three note power chord going on, it's like playing the bottom end of a D major chord. But you're quite um, in your rights just to stick to this one uh, for now. And you'll have to play this shape anyway um, for a lot of stuff. Um, when you get into the boogie rhythms uh, um, and, and what have you. Um, play as you, uh, as you wish. It's all on the PDF. That's an open D5 power chord. That's uh, an E5 power chord in the open position. We're gonna be using the open E string, this string here, and then we're fretting the second fret on the A string, which is the B note. And they're the only two strings, these two, that we play on this chord. And with one down stroke and some dis distortion on the amp, and we're in our element. As in um, other open uh, power chords, it is possible if you wish to add a note and play this note underneath here, which is the second fret on your D string, which is your E. So it's, just, it's backing up your, your root note. Okay. You could still do that with one finger across. Okay. 
Okay. The hardest thing, in a way, is the picking hand. If you're just going for a two note power chord, you have to cut it off so you don't hit any other strings because they can, they can sound awful. Um, or even if you're having the three note power chord, don't play past it. You hear that? No. We might better use that sound in the future, but not just yet. So this is an E5 um, open power chord. Gonna be used in all manner of lovely stuff. Um, so it's worth a persevering in that right. E5 power chord. Enjoy it. <laughs> 